Hello everyone. Guess who I'm going to speak with today? Annabelle Verhel de Dios. She's an experienced early childhood Montessori teacher and recently she opened her own Montessori center which is called Little Hands Montessori. She's going to walk you around and give you more information as how Montessori works. Let's go. Okay guys, so Annabelle is here and she wants to show you around. Here we go. Let's Hi, go. Welcome. Go. Yes. <laughs> so we got uh, cutting, um, just scribbling and uh, gluing. And we also have a lot of color because I have, for this term I have two almost three year olds. So I need, and then I have six, 18, 16 months. So to different age groups age between, yeah, so we fine. have to provide you know um, two different activities that's suitable for those two different age exactly ages exactly right perfect and so this one the clear this triangle is very interesting. yes <laughs> my, actually my husband made this one. Oh my god really <laughs> wow yes. so the first time he did something like this oh. so he did it so this is well loved by I think a, even a ninth month old was able to climb. climb. Yep. Yeah. The youngest. The youngest ninth month old. Yeah. Wow. It's fun. That's it's fun. very good. The <laughs> triangle and the climbing. And so this is our circle. Um, this is where we have our circle, circle time. Mm -hmm. So we got musical instruments here and some puzzles for the younger ones. Again, That's for the little ones. Yeah, we have the language um, materials. So when we say language materials, just learning about so you can see about animals, mm -hmm. different Australian animals. Cool. And of course, um, construction materials. This is well loved because I have actually five boys for this term. Five oh boys. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So car is yeah, the most cars, trains. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> That's why. And we got some cards here. Um, just learning about different transportation. That's true. Yeah. So language, mm. language shelf. Working on the language at this corner. Yes. And of course reading our reading reading area and some practical some practical um, activities like activities like watering plants. Mm. And then flower arranging, learning about buttons. Oh, yes, you remember yes, that. Sorry, <laughs> that's my favorite part. <laughs> cool. Yes, those ones. And my hand washing stand, my um, dishwashing stand, and the practical life. Mm -hmm. So we we bake here. Actually, that's we have a toaster. I have a small toaster there. So we bake. Um, so they do baking, washing, cleaning, cleaning and all stuff here yes. to learn like normal routine, yes. practical yes. things. Yes. That's so, amazing. Yeah. That's it. That's that's the room. Yeah. children like under age uh, 18 month old learn about Montessori as well or it's only for 18 months above? Yes, I'm, I'm actually even the mom's pregnant. So um, uh, we, two months, two months old. I already, I've had um, families coming here with a two month old baby. So that's the youngest. That's really two months to 14 months. So I have Two classes for walkers, which is the 18 months and up. Who are ready to be a toddler. Yeah, and the other one is non-walkers. So those, the babies, so those are still learning to crawl, mm -hmm. to walk, yeah, and sitting, learning to sit. That's right. And is that the stuff you use for babies? Yes, yes. yes. Two months to 14 months, is mm -hmm. that what, right? Like this one, like the book, you know. Um, so this is the first one that you will give um, to an old mm -hmm. or even a newborn um, because it's contrast. You can see it's black, black and white mm -hmm. because they're not seeing colors yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Yes. <laughs> 
And then later on, we got mobiles, then we gave them mobiles. So I have mobiles mm. around, um, around the, um, the classroom. Yeah. Yeah, and some puzzles, very simple puzzles. Mm. And Just only one shape for them yes. to work on how. Yes. Yeah. And of course, um, balls, different, a different texture. Yes. Like I have uh, felt balls, wooden balls, mm -hmm. everything because they love it, especially when they're learning to crawl. That's true. To they kind of like catch it, mm -hmm. and, yeah, crawl mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. crawl around, mm -hmm. catch it. But then, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and got some. Look at this. Yeah. It's perfect. Bring some noise to the noise. Yeah, it's perfect. It's interesting. Cool. Oh, yeah, I got this. They must love it. <laughs> yes. So I'm excited for this one. Mm. So yeah, so as young as um, yeah, two months old, yeah, yes. they're welcome to come here. Perfect. So Haribo, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and your career journey? Why Montessori? Um, actually, um, my mom's a Montessori teacher, but she's not trained. Oh. Uh, but she's been Montessori assistant for more than ten years. So she's the one who. Yeah, she's the one. Fire you. Um, she's like, oh, do I do the one sort of train? She's like, okay, yeah, sure. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. So I did the zero to three train. Zero to three, that's yeah. right. So you've done a proper um, training for that. How is that? Like, what is this qualification? Um, so actually, before you have, a, before you apply for a sorry, um, qualification, you need to have a bachelor's degree. Okay. So my background is education. No, anything. Oh, Any wow. yes, any degree. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. But my background is psychology. Okay. Then I did a zero to three um sorry training in Denver, Colorado. Oh okay. Yes. In America. Yes. Okay, that's right. Um but here in Australia, um there are several training centers here. Mm -hmm. I think there's one in Russell in Sydney, C B D. And then there are other two centers around Australia, I'm not so sure, but I, I did mine in AMI, so, because it's AMI is recognized worldwide. That's true. Yes, yes. so it is, I, um, having an AMI diploma will get you anywhere in the world. Oh, okay, so you recommend them if they want to be trained and get the qualification for Montessori, AMI qualification? I, I suggest, <laughs> I suggest, I suggest okay. AMI. That's, right. That's why I was able to work um, in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So we moved there as residents in New Zealand oh. and then came here to Australia. So because you've done your AMI, yes, you because of that, in America, New Zealand, can work, Australia. can work anywhere yeah. in the world. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. So what happened? Why are your passion in between like ages of zero to zero to three? Yeah. Well, why not older ones? I know. Mm -hmm. Um. Actually, I I like children. Um. I I remember I used to babysit my um, niece back in the Philippines, but that's it. And then um, I don't know. It's just I didn't know. I didn't know that it, it was something. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> and then thank. I'm thankful for my mom's like, oh, okay. So I don't know, it's just toddlers are just um, exciting to work with. Wow. And every day it's different with them. Mm -hmm. You know? They get angry, the next day they'll forget about it, right? Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. And that's it's right. just every day is just magic. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah, it just opens up a new experience. That's it's true. different every day. But with older ones, I guess it's different. So <laughs> I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy um, zero to three babies. And I think what I enjoy most is working with parents. Mm -hmm. I think I'm passing my knowledge and experience to them. Uh, I, I, I love the children to develop, right? Yes. In Montessori yes. Yeah. yeah. I love that. So, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> One question. Why normally um, women are interested to be teacher, like Montessori or non Montessori? Like, how can we incentivize men to be yes. teacher as well? Yes. Like, well, actually, you know, I just realized that um, there's actually a lot of men educators here in Australia. Oh, is it? Especially in Montessori, there's like one or four, three, three principles. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Three men principles in. Um, in a Montessori class, in a Montessori school. This is very interesting. Yes, okay, yes, so, so yeah, we, we need 
we need it's more hard. men in this field because it just um, it just changes the whole dynamic in the classroom. It's, That's true. So we need that. So yeah, hopefully you know um, we'll have more men working um, in early childhood, mm-hmm. in elementary, in in high school too. That's yeah. true. So Hannibal, um, what is your tip or advice for um, someone who really wants to be a Montessori teacher? So someone who already has that bachelor degree mm-hmm. yes. in, the, in the background, yes. and then they really decided to be a Montessori teacher. So what do you um, advise them how they can get there? Well, um, you need to have, I suggest, you know, um, read, read a lot of books about Montessori, mm-hmm. and then get your information with other Montessori teachers, or go to Montessori schools okay. and observe, mm-hmm. and they will be happy to have you there. The t- teachers, um, administrators will be happy to answer your questions because we need more Montessori teachers. Mm-hmm. Um, right? There is a demand, especially here in Australia. There exactly. is a demand, um, and I think there are some schools who will be happy to sponsor you. To do the training here in Australia. Very interesting. Yes. Okay, so they can be the sponsored. Yes, um, can be sponsored. I think three years, and then you know they they can you can discuss it with the schools how you're gonna how are you going to do it. But um, the training itself um, is very rewarding. Mm-hmm. It is intense. Body <laughs> work. Um, <laughs> you'll, you'll shed blood and tears. Oh my god. But um, after that, it's it's rewarding. It's mm-hmm. it's rewarding, and um, the teachers, the trainers, will help you throughout the course. Will help you, and your co- you and the colleagues. It's yeah. It's such a collaborative environment. As as um, it's the same as you know in one start classroom for little ones. It's the same as for adults. It's yeah. a collaborative environment, and people just help each other. Because you want, you want everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants to finish the course, and yeah, email you can email me. Yeah, uh, definitely. I'll, yeah, I'll definitely provide your center's yeah. name and email. Yeah, I'll be so happy. Whoever yeah is interested can be in touch with you. Yes, I've I've had a lot of emails asking where they can do the training. Oh, yeah, that's wow. Cool. Um, books that they can read. Yeah. And I'm always happy to help um, people you. who want to know more that's right. about Montessori. So mm-hmm. you're passionate to invite yes. Yes. to get into the... Yes. yes, 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 yes. If you're thinking, <laughs> if you're thinking to do the training, yeah. go for it, go that's for it. True. And enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> yes. But this training is not practical, right? Is that practical mm-hmm. or like reporting style, research style? Oh, yeah. Style? Yes, yes. both. Means, yes. Um, the the theoretical, yes, and then practical. That's but true. it's 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 enjoyable. <laughs> it's right. enjoyable. Yes, yes. Right. If you love it, you're definitely going to enjoy it. Right? Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Cool. Thank you, Anibo. No worries. It's Thank you. Great Zoe. information that you shared with us. Hope so. I'm sure my audience is gonna enjoy that as well. So yeah, if they want any if they have any question, I definitely refer them to you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.